I'm Dr. Natalie Marks, and I'm here with Olivia from Trepanion and Winston. And we've reviewed decades of Trepanion claims data to find the most common claims filed for puppies under one year. Today, we'll teach you the five most common illnesses your puppy might contract, how to identify them, and what to do if your pet gets sick. A medial patellar luxation is often called an MPL. That's easier to say than the full name. Yes, we're all about saving time with acronyms. So the patella is the kneecap, right? And it's held in place by patellar tendons. So when your dog's leg bends at the knee, the patella slides up in a little slot called the femoral groove. Luxation is a fancy word for saying out of place. So what happens is the patella slides out of that little groove and moves to either side. Does that hurt them? It can, yeah. Some dogs, especially young dogs, are good about adapting. You may notice your dog develops a little kick, a little hitch in their giddy up, and that's them figuring out how to sort of adjust their patella back into place while they're on the go. Other times you may see them limping or holding that leg up because it can be very painful to put weight on it. Small dog breeds can be more prone to this. How can I fix an MPL issue in my dog? Well, you need a veterinarian who may even refer you to a veterinary orthopedist. They'll be more able to examine and diagnose what's going on to determine the best way to treat it. One treatment they might recommend is surgery. It sounds expensive. It can be. The Trupanion policy paid over $12,000 for one 10-month-old puppy's MPL claims. But surgery might not be necessary if other treatments are effective. This is not a condition you want to try and self-diagnose or treat at home. Trust the experts and get your veterinarian involved as soon as possible if you suspect an MPL injury. No explanations needed here. Poppies are just like human kids. They don't know better, they do things without knowing the risks, and they get into trouble. Sometimes that can lead to a fractured bone. Now sometimes this type of injury is very obvious, in which case your main goal is to keep calm and get to the nearest emergency veterinary clinic as soon as possible. How do I find an emergency clinic? Ask your regular vet for recommendations or you can do some internet searching before you need it. Have the location and phone number stored in your phone. You don't want to try and figure this out in the moment when you're stressed. But sometimes a fracture isn't necessarily obvious. Your puppy might yelp, they might limp or favor an injured area, they might be sensitive to touch. These are all signs that you need to get them to the veterinarian for diagnostics. Do they do x-rays on dogs? Yes, part of the diagnostic process is x-rays. Your vet might also recommend an MRI if they suspect some soft tissue damage. With Trupanion, those types of diagnostic tests are covered for unexpected illnesses and injuries. One pet owner's Trupanion policy paid over $9,700 for their nine-month-old puppy's fracture, and that included the imaging needed. What is lameness in a dog? Lameness simply means your puppy isn't able to use one or more of their limbs properly. It's sort of a catch-all term that can apply to lots of different injuries or conditions like a strain or sprain, a fracture, or a dislocation. Lameness is the sign or symptom that tells us we need to start looking for a problem. So really, it could be anything. Well, lameness definitely indicates something. Your veterinarian is going to have the best knowledge base. They've likely seen lots of similar conditions, but they'll need to perform diagnostic tests to confirm what's going on and begin treatment. And that can add up. One eight-month-old puppy's family racked up a bill over $11,000 when the dog started limping. Luckily, their Trupanion policy paid $9,928 of the bill. Does your puppy like to chew on things? Yes, anything really. We have to watch him very carefully at home. Good, it's good that you're watching because puppies love chewing, tasting, and exploring the world with their mouths. Sometimes that can lead to them eating something they shouldn't or even accidentally ingesting something they don't mean to. What is foreign body ingestion? Like if my puppy eats chocolate? No, but definitely do not let them eat chocolate. That would be considered a poisoning. They're eating something poisonous to them. Foreign bodies are things like socks, rocks, corn cobs, small toys. You'd be surprised what puppies are willing to try to eat. Can't we just wait for it to come out the other end? No, depending on what they've eaten and if you even know what they ate. Sometimes your pet just gets sick and you're not sure what happened. The object can get stuck 
or it can damage the stomach or intestines requiring surgery. One nine-month-old puppy had over $26,000 paid for their claim by Trupanion. If you suspect your puppy has eaten something they shouldn't, don't wait to see if it resolves on its own. Get to your veterinarian. By far, the number one claim filed by Trupanion members with puppies is vomiting or diarrhea related. Why so many claims? Well, because it's a very obvious sign that something is wrong with your puppy, and it can be caused by anything from obstructions to poisoning to parasites. The highest paid claim the Trupanion policy has paid for vomiting and diarrhea was over $15,000 for a three-month-old puppy. So should I call the vet if my puppy vomits? If you notice these signs in your dog, monitor them closely. If you notice it happening repeatedly, call your vet. If your pet becomes listless, loses interest, or stops drinking, get them to the emergency veterinary clinic without waiting.